Welcome to Louisiana Gardening Family. Today we're going to talk about our raised bed and what it made of. And uh, we had here a board that we bought it from Home Depot. Yeah, it's there's like, a 2 by... No, 8 by 10. 2 by 10 by 8. Oh, okay. 8 foot long. And yeah. then, uh, so it's 2 by 10 boards. They like a $9, I think it's $9 a piece for the long board. Yeah. And then we just cut these two ties in half and then this. And we had here a bricks. These, like, this one is easier to come up. Yeah, so all of them are actually, once you pick them straight up, I mean, it's it's really uh, easy to install. I think I think th this is going to be, instead of the, the cinder block raised bed, and actually this one is going to be cheaper than the cinder block raised bed, and even though it's not as long term. It's easier to make, and we had like... Like what this the uh, idea of this too that you can put your plants in there so when you water it just like water yeah. the raised bed your pots. So if you have like potted plants or potted uh fruit trees you can actually set them on your corners and that way it'll allow you while you're watering your raised bed to actually water your uh, potted plants also. Uh, and this is the uh, kind of uh, like potting soil that we use in there. We mix it with uh, with some manure that uh, we got it from our neighbor. Yeah. And it was like this was on sale at Walmart for a dollar and fifty. Yeah. And everybody saw that that video. Uh, when is the best time to buy your garden soil? Uh, we've actually started planting this out. Uh, mm -hmm. All seeds, of course. Uh, we have some, tell us what we have. We have, uh, on this side we have bok choy, and then we had uh, carrots in the middle, and then we had That some are actually starting kale. to come up a little bit. <laughs> so we just decided to put like three, like stuff in one yeah. bed. We should, like, I mean, we trying to mix, like, uh, put like solid mix in here, but then I say like we don't really like the solid mix because like some of them is taste bitter and stuff. Yeah. So we just decided to put like what we really like to eat, like bok choy is, you know, easy to cook and easy to eat. Yeah. And kids like it. So the kale uh, is good. What we're going to do, what, we, what we've decided to do is, is to not just show you, uh, first off, uh, thumbs up and shout out to uh, Stu's Green Thumb. I saw this actual raised bed on his channel maybe about a year ago when he first got on YouTube. And then uh, a few weeks ago, I saw it on uh, Mississippi Gardener, I believe it is, as well. And uh, and man, this thing is, is easy to put together. It's cheaper. Uh, and and the one thing I don't like about the cinder block raised bed, as far as here in, in Louisiana, not only is it heavy as hell, it, it gets hot and it dries out your soil super fast so with the having it's kind of like having a, a dual i don't want to say dual purpose but you got like the best of both worlds so you have your concrete on the corners which is going to offer you major stability and you have your wood that it won't heat up and stay burning like an oven overnight it'll dissipate that heat uh, fairly quickly as as the nighttime progresses as opposed to your concrete uh, another thing I like about this is you can actually I'm not going to do it now but when we do the next one I'll show you how easy show them that front uh, bed baby mm. yeah don't pull it pull it up though uh, just the wood itself it just slides it just slides clean out uh, with a little like you just yeah force or you can just take the uh, bricks off which I'll show you little bevs and easy to slide in this is a perfect this is the perfect raised bed I believe uh, no screws no nails the one we have to the front I nailed that thing screwed that thing I put uh, braces like uh, what that was like steel iron braces on it to keep it and we've had that stable. for a few years stable. Keep it stable. And then this one is like easy, like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes that he made it. And then yeah. He put everything up. So thumbs up to Big Stew. 
uh, when I saw that, man, I was I was messaging that guy. I was like, man, where did you get it? He was like, Home Depot. I went to Home Depot. I messaged them back. I can't find them. I can't find them. It's these blocks right here. These blocks right here. I don't know who thought of it, but those blocks right there is what makes this. And then they have this little, if you want more stability, you can get like a rebar. And right down the center of this, you can tap you some rebar right down the center uh however deep you want it in the ground and that'll give you even more stability which you really don't need but it's there if you need it uh to keep your just say if, if maybe you wanted to go three this one is two uh blocks high maybe you wanted to go three high so it would give you more stability on that front uh, also if if one piece of wood rottens out you can actually just replace one piece of wood instead of your whole raised bed falling apart. So you can actually, it's cost effective because you can replace one board at a time, which is like $9.50 a board. All right. So we have the eight foot boards on the, the long parts. Maybe next time we're going to get like 12, like 12 by 10. Like uh, two by 10 by 10, because this is two by 10 by eight. So I think we need to get something maybe a little bit higher so we can have it, if you can see here, it still has a few more inches here that we can probably get a board the next size up. And that's what we're gonna try on the next one when we take y'all with us to Home Depot to get these. We'll measure it in the store and everything to see how it's gonna look uh, when it comes out. But so far, so good. Uh, it actually is working out. Uh, Besides knowing when to get your soil, uh, we're looking at, I think it cost us about $50 to make this bed. Mm -hmm. Like 46 Yeah, something like that. Almost $50. So the uh, cinder block raised bed, even at like a dollar a block, a dollar fifty a block, it was up to $65. Yeah. So you can actually save uh, $15 and have an actual more cost effective. Uh, Saving. Yeah, and cheaper. Yeah. And and even little bells can walk around with these boards so if you are a lady and you don't think that you're strong enough to actually get in there with the tools you don't need drills no. oh well we do need we did cut this board but you can get a handsaw or maybe i'll see maybe they can cut uh home at home depot maybe they can cut your wood because the uh the size this is eight by four and what i mean by that is this is eight foot long here and four foot long across all right so what you have to do is buy three eight foot boards you get one for this side and one for that side and your third eight foot board you'll cut it in half right so that'll be four foot on this end and four foot on that end and everything else when you get home you can just set it in place and slide it down and then uh, one thing too we put like uh black paper oh on yeah the bottom part so that uh grass won't grow like i mean we just want it so the grass won't like yeah sure grow. i forgot about that i actually i scraped the grass a little bit with the uh, shovel and the hoe and it kind of scraped it kind of like uh this part behind bells and just scrape it down just to do it i don't think it really needed it and i overlapped the paper like bells was talking about and you can see where it overlaps here so we actually started on this side we rolled one out and then we came here and overlapped it here and then on that one you roll the next one and you overlap it again it's real cheap and this is like five year i think so if you overlap it then i guess you can multiply and get two ten years so uh so. thanks for watching <laughs> Thank you for watching Louisiana Gardening Family. We'll see you next time. Yeah. And we'll see y'all at Home Depot. Uh, we're going to take y'all to Home Depot and finish this up. Because I got a crybaby coming out here. Shut up, boy. Grow, grow, grow. All right. Grow, grow, grow out of being a whiny baby. All right. Y'all see our garden soil. Man, man, man. $1.50 a bag. Hmm. Peace.